How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student. Today we're going to be talking about the humanitarian crisis happening right now in Kashmir. So to catch you up on what's been actually happening, unless you've been living under a rock, within the last year, the region of Kashmir, which is a region in India who has faced decades of political violence and political turmoil from both the government of India and the government of Pakistan. I'm not going to go into nitty gritty details about it because you should do your research because it's vast and extensive and I don't have the historical knowledge to fill you in on that but definitely look into the turmoil that's happening right now which the biggest victims unfortunately are the citizens living in Kashmir. But the Indian government essentially is making excuses to put Kashmir on lockdown so that they lose a lot of their autonomy and they have been under lockdown for over seven months before the pandemic happened and as soon as that lockdown started to get lifted unfortunately COVID-19 had reached India. Well, according to statistics, we don't actually know how long COVID has been in India. But that lockdown lift of Kashmir came with the Kavit. There were still restrictions in place. And one of those restrictions is that the whole region-wide internet was set to 2G. And if you don't know what that is, it is very, very, very slow. And the biggest healthcare crisis happening right now is the fact that the people of Kashmir can't reach their doctors because doctors aren't seeing patients physically most of the time unless it's an emergency. So they have to go through telehealth services. India has approved the use of telehealth services for their doctors, but try going with try going on a Zoom call with 2G internet on your phone. I swear to you, you're going to get incredibly frustrated because that just doesn't work. Telehealth doesn't work unless you have good internet speeds and 2G internet unfortunately is not enough to have effective telehealth visits with you and your doctor. This creates a huge health disparity in the region of Kashmir especially because Kashmir houses millions, millions of people in their region. In fact, there's approximately 12.5 million people living in Kashmir. Another huge healthcare disparity that is being heightened by this semi-lockdown is the fact that a lot of COVID treatments that we know right now is by ongoing research that's been that's being published literally every single day. And for doctors to be able to access that, access those treatment methods, those treatment plans, because those symptoms are changing every day. If you haven't noticed, the CDC website updates pretty regularly on new symptoms and old symptoms and new modalities to help sick patients are being released through research. Even the vaccine trials, the vaccine research out there is being published through research. And in order to download PDFs, these large PDFs, 2G internet will take hours, hours to download a single research PDF for these doctors to gain more knowledge about the treatment methods of COVID-19. Doctors are also unable to join live webinars that actually help you understand what's going on in the world right now and what ways they can do to mitigate some of the harm that COVID-19 is causing among people of different regions. Unfortunately, these doctors aren't allowed to complain about what's been happening, that they can't take care of their patients to their utmost efficacy because the Indian government has been threatening them, threatening them with jail time, threatening them with losing their license if in fact, they do speak out about what's been happening with their lack of access to health knowledge in Kashmir. In addition to these doctors not having access to healthcare information, the people of Kashmir are also suffering not just physical health effects, but also mental health effects. The Indian government has even noted that according to the Indian Psychiatry Society, they found a 20% increase of mental illness in India within a few weeks of lockdown, which not, not the Kashmir lockdown, but the nationwide lockdown with COVID-19. So that's a huge increase. That means one in five people in India is currently suffering from a mental illness because of loneliness, because of lack of support, because of losing their business, losing their income. Due to, the fact, due to the fact that COVID-19 is causing a lot of socioeconomic damage to their economy and also preventing them from keeping those mean, meaningful relationships. This is worse for people in Kashmir who are going through a lockdown and are unable to communicate through the internet. So 
even though some of us in the United States are being able to talk to our friends through Zoom or webcam or Skype or FaceTime, the people of Kashmir can't even do that. So if you're living by yourself, you're not going to have that emotional connection with anyone, really. We also need to advocate for the fact that telehealth psychiatry needs to be free and accessible to the Kashmiri people. So I just want to end this video with saying that I hope you learned something that's going on in the world right now, especially in the region of Kashmir in India, and how this will inspire you to not just share this video, but also share other resources talking about what's going on in Kashmir so that the people of Kashmir can get some healthcare relief and that the doctors of Kashmir can adequately take care of their patients because we need to collectively as a society, not just American society, but world society, band together and help those in need. And I really, really wanted to make this video mostly because I am someone of South Asian de descent and ever since I was little, I've always seen this political conflict in Kashmir and unfortunately, the biggest, the biggest losers of, of this continued political conflict is the Kashmiri people over and over and over again. And I really want, I just want something to be done and that's why I made this video. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining and something to enlighten you on. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to keep up with my life, and I'll see you on the next one. This is Ben.